guys i hope you are doing well uh, this tutorial is regarding a simple uh, c program uh, using the code block ide ide uh, is a integrated development environment uh, so the code block ide provides an environment to compile and run c programs so code blocks gives uh, you a functionality to create a uh, projects in C++ or C language. Now, in this tutorial, we are focusing a first uh, program which is developed uh, using a project in a code blocks ID. So, I am using the code blocks ID of version 12.11. So, you can download the latest version also from the internet. Okay. So, this pro uh, to create a project, newly project. I just you just click on the file button select the new option in this option they are you can also create an empty file uh, you can also create a class in, in this class is used in C++ programs or Java programs you can also create project so here you create a project now uh, I am uh, you can also create some targets files some custom applications, some templates and all some diagrams like Nashi, Shim and diagram. Okay. So in this tutorial we are focusing on the project. So just click on this project option. Now in this uh, project type you are you can select any uh, type of project. So because in C and C++ we are generally make uh, console based application. So are we uh, just select the console application click on the go button now this is a wizard appears here we show that uh, the console uh, welcome to the new console application wizard now click on the next button select the language you can either select C++ or C so for the time being suppose I select the C language click on the next button here it will ask for the project title so you just enter the project title here the project title may be any name uh, as per your convenience so i just write here p r o j then you have to uh, choose the directory in which you have to store your project you want to store your project so just click on the browse button you can select the directory path any directory path in your computer so I already selected the desktop path. So the project is stored in a desktop. This is a project file name proj.cbp which is extension used by CodeBlocks to store the projects. Then click on the next button. In the next window here uh, you can see that uh, the compiler is shown. So CodeBlocks uh, uses GCC compiler. Uh, by default and uh, we, we use gdb debugger by default so these are the option we already checked you cannot uh, nothing to do in this window so just finish it once you finish the wizard in the management dialog you can see that there is a workspace appeared in this workspace uh, the newly created project have shown in this project there is a sub menu called sources if you expand this menu there is a file called main.c when you open this file a program template is appeared so this program template have two predefined libraries are included one int main function is there with some print hello world statement and return zero so the code book id always have this type of uh, main syntax in which we have integer type of written type of main method code book does not does not support void main it always support integer main so because we have an integer type of uh, uh, return type uh, uh, is uh, there so we have to write return zero here okay so now let's uh, see how to run this program so to run this program just go to the um, build option 
in build option you have uh, different types of uh, options are available if you want to compile this program just click on control f9 or click on this button build uh, so once you build the program the build log is developed here is it is the build log is shown so in the lower window your build log is shown so the timing has also appeared and 0 error 0 warnings and 8 seconds are there now to run this program just go to the build option and press the run button so once you press the run button the output is shown as a hello world now you can press any key to DHCP this window now uh, you can also use these uh, three shortcuts to build run or uh, combinedly you can also use build and run button okay so suppose i use this build and run button here so it will compile and run your program thanks for watching this video uh, we will in next lecture we will cover the debugging option in the code blocks Thanks for watching.